Hi guys, Tucker Jobs Gaming and welcome back to episode 2 of the uh, Tactic Testing Race to the UEFA Champions League Qualification. If you haven't watched episode 1, I suggest you do so because obviously it has all the information on the tactics that we are using uh, and all of the manual instructions if you wanted to use the tactics as well. Uh, well, the tactics that we are using, if you don't know, is the Lisa Spider and also Naps Parisian Walkways. It's a head-to-head -head competition racing all the way to the uh, qualifiers of the UEFA Champions League and uh, let's carry on that journey with episode 2 Right then, welcome back to episode 2 of Race to the UCL and like last episode, they both got promoted from the south and north of the Vanarama League so now they are in the Vanarama National League together as you can see, having Waterlooville and York uh, Let's go through York first, have a look at a few transfers some players that have come in and then we'll obviously we'll go to having and Waterlooville have a look at them and then travel to the end of the season and which tactic is still uh, doing well hopefully they both do well that's the aim of the game but it is a competition so yeah let's have a look at york then so transfers a couple of players that have come in for uh, york is obviously brendan kernan lucas greenberch toby amali uh, lucas defies or defies george nurse and aaron lomas um sometimes there might be a lot of players coming in so i'm not going to bore you with everyone because i've already said that I'm only going to bring players in to bulk up the squad or standard loan deals. Or right? I'm not going to search the world for players on each save, on each character, on each character, <laughs> on each team, um, because it will take. It's it's not fair because I might find a great player, and I want them at that club, and then so on and so forth. So the staff do bring in all of the players. They do sell the players as well. I don't touch any of that. And um, the only time I come in is maybe when I need to bolster the squad up with a few free loans, uh, free transfers, nothing special, nothing to actually show this guy's going to be amazing, all right, just bulking up the squad, um, but I may show you, obviously, the loans, because the loans will be good, hopefully, um, I won't scour all the teams for great loan deals, all right, I'm just literally going to be going on the transfers, uh, scouting, and see which players pop up, Right, which ones are becoming available to, available to me and I'll just obviously start from the top of the list and try a few out. If they want to come to me, happy days, and uh, I'll show you them. Obviously, no player has come in on loan yet. I will show you the players at the end of the season that does come on loan. Um, but for now, there is a few players, so let's get through them then. So we actually ended up getting rid of uh, Reese Harrison. Nothing really special there. A little bit of pace, only rated 41 by the scout summary, so... Not really great, uh, but a couple of players that have come in for York. And Lucas Green at Birch, attacking centre, shadow striker, uh, or a striker himself. Not too bad, he's only 19. Uh, again, nothing really special, but they're not. They're just free transfers, bulking up the squad. Uh, Toby and Marley, right, centre-back, pretty decent. Not very good on the tackling and marking side, for, but for a, uh, a ball-playing defender, maybe it does the job. Only 20, young lad. Lucas Defies, 18-year-old Belgian. Um, a defensive midfielder, maybe a Segundo Volante, uh, depending on what position this guy will play in. I'm guessing if it's York, then yeah, it's going to be the Segundo Volante. Um, so he may do the job. Good tackling, uh, decent acceleration, aggression 16. Uh, yeah. Uh, George Nurse. Uh, obviously, I've, I've seen George Nurse before. I think I've actually had him. It probably was when I was Newport County on one of my saves. Um, on the left-hand side, all right, just bulking up some squads. Uh, Aaron Lomas, 1.1k, so we're actually getting to the players that cost some money now. Uh, so 19-year-old English bloke, um, play on the wings or as a striker. For this league, it's fairly quick. Acceleration 13, pace 13, and finishing 11. He might do the job. He might do uh, a little bit of something for this team. And finally, the big spent the big money uh, buy, 8k. Breaking the bank there. Uh, Brendan Kernan from Harrogate. Uh, again, another winger, potential striker there uh, for them. So he looks pretty decent as well. Um, decent acceleration, decent pace, 14 pace, dribbling 14. So hopefully they're going to put him on the wings and he's going to do a pretty good job. But like on the last episode, they might play players out of position. All right? I don't pick the team or where they go either. It's all about the tactic and the team and the race to the UCL. Um, right, so let's go through Haven and Waterlooville then. See what transfers they've, they've got. 
So we ended up getting rid of Chris Paul on a free. Uh, he's a right back. He's actually not too bad. He's pretty slow on the pace. Decent acceleration. Um, so, yeah. 67 scouts summary. I don't know why they went on a free and they didn't uh, get a new contract. But I don't control those things. Uh, and only brought in two players. So, no doubt you're going to prob probably see more at the end of the season for the players that I brought in. Uh, just to bulk up the squad, get a couple of loans. But I will get loans for both teams. Uh, Ethan Stewart then, on a free. Centre-back. He's all right. 20, young lad. 11 tackling, that's pretty decent. Uh, Markins 9, heading 10. Yeah. Mental, bit lacking on mental. Decent determination. Strength 12, not too bad. So, yeah, that's him. And Jamie Benham. Uh, he obviously has come through the academy, uh, my academy. So he's, not, he's all right. It's pretty good. Five-star potential ability. All right. If you don't know too much about the potential ability and the star system, uh, there is a great video by Zealand FM Base. He obviously goes through it all, but a quick little recap on it is basically the stars are to your team. All right. Five-star to our team. Doesn't necessarily mean that when he goes to Man U, he's going to carry on being five-star. He might just be two. Two-star useless goalkeeper. For us, it could be a potential worldie at the minute. All right, in this division with this team. But for Man U, it could be uh, absolutely rubbish. We don't know, but it normally goes to your team. If you didn't know, you might have known that. And yeah. Uh, so that's the two players for them. Uh, hopefully, everything's going to go all right. Hopefully, uh, it, more players do come in. Hopefully, better loans come in as well, because I will actually look for loans, but I won't scour the world for them. Right, I'll just pick the ones at the top of the list that are willing to come to the team. And uh, yeah, who's going to get promoted and who, hopefully not, might get relegated. We'll see at the end of the season. Right then, end of the season. And as you can see by the table, York were champions. Absolute animals. All right, they, they were, must have been predicted to come pretty low in the table because they're a newly promoted side. Uh, Haven't and Waterlooville, see, that's more expected. For a plug-and-play tactic, hopefully it always does well. And for a newly promoted team to come 12, that's a decent, decent go. Uh, but York, yeah, 91 points, 26 wins, 13 draws, 7 losses. They did absolutely amazing. Uh, and, and they became champions of the division. And they will be promoted. So, so far, it's looking like the Parisian walkways from NAP is, uh, is winning. Is doing, obviously, the better job. Uh, so, let's go through some of the top three players uh, for the player stats. So, goals was actually a younger from... Uh, Haven and Waterlooville, 26, came first. Uh, average rating, a younger and Lucas DeVice, um... 7.5 and 7.4, uh, first and third. Assists was another haven't player, Josh Taylor, 16 assists, came first. And uh, no other players about. So let's go through York first and let's have a look at some of the other transfers that came in before we look at all the stats. Um, here we go. So we ended up obviously getting rid of this guy, Alex Kempster. Uh, he went for 14k, so he got a bit of money for him. It's a shame because he is pretty good. 25 years old, uh, decent physicals, finishing's pretty good. Um, he scored 7-2 and two in, Sky, in Skybet League 2, all right? So a higher division team brought him, so well done to him. Um, but let's go through some of the players that I actually brought in. So we actually ended up getting Dean Moxie, another player for 2.3k. A great left back. He might be lacking on the acceleration and pace, uh, but as an old Ed, he's got some mentals on him, got some decent technicals on him, and uh, he's done the job. He's only played a couple of games, obviously, but he played 7.5, so he was just a, a good uh, backup basically uh, and some of the loans that i brought in then are here all five so archie proctor lancaster the armada or the armida uh, taylor and onan uh, let's go through them so proctor first center back very good center back all right I, I, he was good i seen him i got him all right but i didn't search for him he just came up on the list simple there he was all right so i'm not like favoring one team if you know what i mean about trying to make one look better it's just this guy was available for york so yeah very good uh, center back uh, five star potential ability 19 years old on loan from wimbledon so pretty good there lancaster uh, striker again very very good striker indeed uh, 22 vanarama national league games 20 goals he was absolutely insane played amazing uh, yeah everything about him just says that he'll be a star player in this league and, and he was Absolutely fantastic. Uh, Tavio Di Almada. Uh, only played six. Obviously came off the bench in ten. Uh, three assists. 
he's all right. I think he was just a he was a bulk up the squad kind of player. Uh, Jamie Taylor from Bristol City on loan again, just a all right. Thirteen apps, so he played thirteen games. Uh, like I've already said before, I don't pick the teams. I don't I don't choose who plays. Um, and then finally, Jaden Onan from uh, from Brentford. So that's a very good very good team to get a loan from. Uh, Twenty years old. Attacking centre, so hopefully he was a shadow striker. He can play midfielder and striker. Uh, and yeah, very good. Good dribbling. Very good uh, physicals for a 20-year-old as well in this league. And uh, half-decent mentals. Bravery 12, anticipation 11, concentration 12. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, let's have a look at the uh, competitions. How did they actually do in the second season? Right then, English FA Cup. They got all the way to the third round of the FA Cup. That's good going. Very good go. Went out to Manchester United. All right, so yeah, it's not expected, really, is it? Uh, the actual score was three 0 So yeah, not bad. Uh, and the FA Trophy went out in the fourth round by Eastley. Uh, schedule then. So let's have a look at some of the results. Some of the score lines: five two, three one against Maidenhead, four 0 against Ebbsfleet, six one against Barnet. Decent result that is. Weymouth and Eastley two one two 0 So yeah, they did absolutely fantastic, haven't they? Awesome. There's no drop off point, drop off points really. Decent in the uh, decent in the friendlies as well. Arsenal under 23s, 4-1, not bad, not bad. York, decent result against them. Uh, so yeah, 6-4, 4-3, 3-0. Uh, very good end to the season. 4-1, 5-3, 5-0 against Weymouth. So yeah, fantastic. Let's have a look at the squad. So best player, including obviously all the loans, uh, was Jamie Taylor. All right, Jamie Taylor was obviously in the midfielder. I said he looked like he could be a, a bulk player, but he ended up being the best player. Uh, played 7.82 in all competitions, five goals, 12 assists. Absolutely fantastic. And there's that strike that we brought in, Lancaster. Uh, 23 goals and three assists. Played 7.57. Dean Moxie, 0 and 1. Only played two games, really. Uh, 7.5. Uh, and then the uh, two boys here, Archie Proctor and Defies, 45 and 49 games. Uh, eight goals, twelve assists, nine goals, one assist. Yeah, so they're playing very well. Everyone played very well. It's nice when you see a full, big, uh, big chunk of green there in the, in the average rating. Nice. Uh, so let's have a look at the tactic analysis. See how it actually did in the second season. So goals in the last fifty matches, one hundred and nineteen. You are a newly promoted team in this league, and you got one hundred and nineteen. That's absolutely fantastic. Uh, conceded is high, but. While it is for being champions, but for being newly promoted team with a little bit less quality, really, technically you should have. Uh, 57 goals ain't bad, really, is it? Uh, goal types then. 66 place shots, powerful shots, 24, 17 headers, 6 free kicks and 6 penalties. Assists in the last 50 games, 29 came from set pieces and the rest of them were all from open play. Uh, there's your goal locations and your assist locations. So let's now go to the team that unfortunately didn't get promoted. But again, 12th place is nothing to uh, to, to worry about. I think that's pretty good. Uh, obviously, it's a shame now next season they're going to be in different leagues. And uh, York is now starting to run away with the competition. But yeah, let's have a look at some of the players that actually came in for Haven and Waterlooville then. So... Chris Paul and Jamie Benham. That Benham, obviously, we got through our academy. Uh, went on a free. So, it looks like we never gave him a long-term contract and seen a bit. Uh, Benham. So, yeah. Okay. That's a shame. But, some of the loans that I did bring in then. So, we've got Toby Holland, Perry Moss, Sanko, Carlisle, and Debbie. Uh, Swindon. So, let's have a look at Holland first. Uh, a left winger. Again, nothing great. Really, for this league, is probably world class. Um, decent acceleration, a decent crossing as well. Techniques half decent. Uh, in this league, he played twenty five games, five goals and seven assists. So yeah, played seven point oh eight, not too bad. Uh, Perry Moss, uh, a striker or shadow striker or right side player. Um, yeah, amazing physicals. Obviously, acceleration thirteen, paces fourteen, decent jumping reach, uh, passing thirteen. So he did a job. Played eighteen. Uh, eight goals, six assists, played a 7.27. Uh, Imad Sanko from Exeter, another right side player. Uh, well, right side, right winger, defensive mid, midfielder, right back. Played in all sorts. Where did he actually play? So he did play everywhere. 
bit of defensive midfielder, defender right, midfielder right, attacking right. So he's a predominantly right-sided player. Um, and he only played 12 games. Didn't really contribute a lot. All right, one goal, one assist, played a 7.06. So at least he's still in the green there. And uh, Nathan Carlisle from Portsmouth. Centre-back. Uh, Ball-playing centre-back, would you say? 11 passing. 11 heading, 12 tackling. Pretty decent. Only played six games, though. Played a 7.12. And finally, Jonathan Deby, uh, goalkeeper. So he only played two games as well. So it looks like we obviously kept the goalkeeper from uh, the last um, season. Uh, long, 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 long server, long time server. Uh, and he's still in goal. He only played two games. So we can't really have a look at his stats and how he actually did. Uh, so let's have a look at the schedule and the competitions first. English FA Cup. Fourth qualifying round went out to Kingstonian and the English FA Trophy went out to Ebbsfleet. So, yeah, they didn't do as well as York in the competitions either. Uh, the schedule, obviously a little bit a little bit worse looking than York's. All right? There's a lot more reds. Started very badly. All right? that's, that's some dreadful results there. A lot of reds. Uh, but picked it up a little bit. Finished... Finished off decent, two losses, one draw, and uh, the rest wins for April. Uh, but finished, I, I can't moan, I don't think I'm going to moan at 12th finish. The only thing I'm going to moan about is that it's not head-to-head -head competition anymore. Um, York's kind of obviously got the advantage now of having the better players next season, the better reputation, more money. Um, so yeah, there's, it's, only, it's only up and up for them. And having a Waterloo Villa, just going to have to try again. So let's have a look at the squad then. So as you can see here already, there's not as many greens. Uh, but the best player was Younger. Obviously, he was there last season. Uh, did very well last season and uh, did very well this season. All right, 26 goals, 6 assists. Jamie Gray, uh, 24 and 11. He was the other striker. This tactic plays two, not one, like the uh, Parisian walkways. Uh, Josh Taylor, 37, 5 and 16. Perry Moss, 8 and 6. Uh, Simon Walton. 10 and 3, not too bad for a uh, midfielder, definitely. Uh, so, yeah, everyone played pretty good. Uh, tactic analysis for these then. So, in the last 50 matches, 109. So, 109 is still pretty good, but unfortunately, defensively poor. 106 goals conceded. Yeah, that's bad. Very bad. That's something to sort out next season. Hopefully, the, um, the staff are going to start bringing in some more defensive minded players. Some better quality defensive minded players uh, maybe a better goalkeeper all right but we'll see if they don't then obviously i'll look at some loan deals uh, and then we'll go through there but that's for the next episode not now uh, so yeah 109 great 106 not great uh, goal types then 72 play shots 12 powerful shots kill shots one head is 18 two free kicks and four penalties in the last 50 games 18 came from um 18 goals came from set pieces and the rest of them all from open play. 33 th through balls. Awesome. Uh, goal locations. And there's the assist locations. So, guys, that's it for episode two. So far, the Parisian walkways is winning. York are winning. They are promoted uh, to Division 2 or League 2. And um, having a Waterlooville, unfortunately, they've got to have another season in the Vanarama National. So, yeah. Not going too great for them. Awesome for York. Absolutely incredible. Back-to-back -back champions. Incredible. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you like and subscribe. Hopefully you do not miss uh, the future episodes of this series. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. See you later. Bye.